Mm, salutations, free people of the world, um, lovers of sporting and shooting, shooting sports. Um, here we go with the Chiapa uh, review video of the 22-1911 style Chiapa gun. Comes with two mags, comes with a cleaning rod. Uh, this is your safety key for back here. Um, the... Uh, yeah, trigger lock, extra mag, books. Um, then you got your chamber indicator. This gun was odd to me um, because I so wanted it to not have any problems. I was shooting 40 grain Federal white box bulk, which is what most people buy 22s to shoot anyway, the bulk stuff. Um, the mags, you know, spring out pretty good. Um, but it had some malfunctions while shooting it. Um, as you can see back here, you've got your safety. This is where I guess that one black pin right there, this key goes. So you can turn it so that it won't fire, um, which is probably an anti, you know, kids find it. But this is about the same size and it feels pretty similar in weight to a 1911. The, Machining quality is there. Uh, it's, you know, decently machined. It's very light slide. There is nothing to get that slide to go back. And that was what was so dreamy about shooting it. When it fired, it was just, it was just, it was kind of like, like you were shooting a toy. Um, because it was just, just no recoil. I mean, just, just back. Uh, the, some of the, the feeding issues that I had with her was, um, she would, let me go ahead and lock her in. Uh, one time she, uh, she didn't get the casing out. Uh, one time, once or twice, it stroked over top of the bullet and didn't, I think, no, it's two times. Yeah, two times there was an empty chamber. One time it didn't get the shell casing out and pinched it on inserting the next case. And then another time it, uh, the bullet it kind of did what you call a stovepipe where it, you know kind of like jammed up in there on the clothes uh it it looks like it's a fixed barrel like the barrel is machined into the frame there right there you can see it the barrel appears to be built to the frame right in there and there's no way to you know take it down like a standard 1911 which is okay. I mean, it's not, it's not a 1911. That's for sure. But it's, I wanted it to work and who knows? I mean, maybe you shoot it a lot. Uh, maybe the, find the right ammo and it'll work just fine. Uh, it might be something that, you know, wants some mini mags or, uh, CCI. It, it might be one of them guns that you just need to give it more premium ammo. However, they are relatively cheap. You can find them low 200s. If you want to train with a 1911, this is a very good option. Just be aware that the sample size of one that I got, I had some issues out of it. Again, I haven't put stingers in it or tried anything other than just bulk at this point. Um, I won't completely crap on it because it had no recoil almost. I mean, it was almost a recoilless gun. Really felt like a toy. And I felt like I should, you know, as a comparison, bring in the baby rock and set it beside it so you can see the difference. So there's the baby rock. This thing right here kicked worse than a regular 45 in 1911. And, but it's a straight blowback as I talked about in the other video. Uh, this is a straight blowback too, but there's no there's no weight. There's no heft. It's just There's no heft and that recoil is just great. The trigger on it's just fine. It's not a screaming good 1911 trigger um, You know, so There's the reset right you can feel it coming right there click then back to the hard wall instantly boom It's a it's a good gun. <laughs> uh, again, you might need to just try ammo, but hey, for what Glock 44 wants, 
uh, for their gun. And if it's picky on ammo, well, this one's almost half that price. Who cares if it's picky on ammo? It's half the price you can afford to buy some more. And your training might be done before you even spend the price of a, a Glock 44. You know, you can get some quality ammo that it likes. But um, just wanted to show the baby rock over top of it. And I'll do this vice versa on the baby rock video. But uh, this is a... It's an okay option if you want to. If you if you're a 1911 fan, this is an option for you. Um, you know, the safety seems the safety works. I don't have no problems out of that. Safety off. You can see the wow that doesn't work. Huh. That's a beaver tail. Don't work there. But um, so but now the safety catch works. Um, so, yep. She's a decent gun. I, I can't say. Uh, without running a variety of ammo through it, I can't say confidently if it'll run flawlessly if you just give it this, or it really likes this over this. Uh, had less malfunctions out of this, but out of 18 rounds, I had four mishaps with it. Dream to shoot still. Uh, wouldn't completely say no. Uh, again, I'm working with a sample size of one, so you know mileage may vary but i'll end that here and uh let y'all make up your decisions if you want one or not but for the cost they're they're pretty affordable uh i guess chiapas trying to get some of their guns out there at a reasonable price sure wish they bring that raging bull down or oh god or no does it uh the rhino sorry i'm raging bull thinking of doors i wish they get that rhino down that looks like a sweet shooting gun and it feels good too but Anyway, this is a decent option if you want to try it and practice, but it really does feel like a toy. It couldn't get you ready for a 45 at all because of that recoil. I mean, that impulse was nothing. It was, you know, it's night and day compared to shooting a real 45. But I've already shown the comparison between the Baby Rock and this. Uh, I was noticing on the Baby Rock that the angles are different. And I was kind of wondering if that was because this is a 22 long rifle. So then I went and grabbed one of my 45 1911s. And no, it's not. This gun is built like a 1911. It's got very similar profiles. This one does have hope grips on it. This is a Norinco. Um, but you can see they're very similar. Uh, this has a working beaver tail. This one has, has a dummy beaver tail. So I felt like I should include that in here so that you can see a side by side of the two guns. The profiles are really you know very similar uh so this is a good training aid if you want to learn to shoot 1911s um yeah like i said again when you find the right working ammo this could be a very good option uh or maybe your yours will work just fine with all kinds of ammo uh, that would be a thing for you to make the decision on and if it doesn't i don't know chiapa might fix it uh you might be able to send it back to them send them a video of what it's doing and maybe they can get it to running uh but here's a 1911 there's a 1911 22 and then that different angled baby rock so you can see it's about half the size i would say uh weight wise it's i i should get a scale out and put that on here but anyway that's the differences i just wanted to show everybody the gun here so that you can see that this is a very good replica of a 1911 without the cost of buying 45. So till then, see you in the next video. Y'all keep shooting.